Hey everybody, this is Jeff Rappaport reporting for AvWeb with some post Oshkosh video. I'm here with Xylon Salzman, founder of 1G Simulation. Xylon and his team put together a Robinson R44 simulator with a virtual reality headset. It's basically impossible that virtual reality isn't at some point going to be the future of flight training simulation. So while it's a very early stage, it's also pretty cool. I'm not a helicopter guy, but this is one of the best things I saw at Oshkosh this year. Let's go talk to Xylon. This here is the Torrens 44. It's uh, something that we're rolling out here at Oshkosh as a beta release. It's a product of our creative creation studio, which is an arm of the company at 1G Simulation that's motivated to uh, create new products and kind of push the envelope. So rather than follow the sort of regular format that is required to get an FAA approval for a training device, which we've demonstrated with many of our other products, this device here is demonstrating what we believe will be the new technology. And so uh, it's a uh, virtual reality cockpit um, augmented really with uh, haptic feedback and um, it's uh, demonstrating an R44, Robinson R44. We experienced here with this project, which incidentally is only nine days into its development, is uh, the challenge, of course, of trying to integrate physical controls and a real cockpit with what you see through the visuals. So, tremendous amount of potential with the out-the-window sort of view, um, the spatial relationships and situational awareness that you gain from having the virtual reality. But what we look to do is to augment in a better way the ability to take all of the hardware that exists in a cockpit and make that available to the user through the headset. With a helicopter, it seems very clear that one of the things that uh, is lacking with any other training device uh, on the market, all the way up to the very top, are the visuals. And so we've, we've talked to a number of flight training departments that have said, the FAA approval is totally unimportant to us. What we look for is a device that acts like a helicopter and has some sort of visual reference that allows students to learn how to hover an aircraft and become familiar with the visuals. And of course, with the VR, you get uh, wraparound visuals anywhere you look you can see and so a helicopter is just a perfect platform for that. We had a, a couple of um, R44 instructors in here over the past day. Well, just this is day two, but so yesterday we had uh, two R44 instructors come and fly it. Um, both of them had similar comments, which is they said at the end of it, uh, there are a few things that uh, need to be adjusted, some known things with the flight model. Of course, again, this is nine days into its uh, production, um, so that's to be expected. But they, they both unanimously agreed that the visuals allowed for the ability to hover, and in fact, both of them said said that it's a bit more challenging to fly this and hover than it is the rail aircraft, which they felt was a good thing. Um, really, at that point, it's about uh, the oscillations and not chasing after flight controls and that sort of thing. So they both felt like it was a good platform for that. This is available on the market today. So we're, we are offering this device uh, to the um, public. In fact, we spoke with two flight schools yesterday uh, who expressed interest in it. And um, what we're offering with, with that is that any release of software that we make in the next 12 months will automatically be included with the purchase of this device. The show special for this right now is 24500 and again that includes any development that we do going forward. It includes commercial license for the software, um, our instructor operator station, and um, uh, basically all those updates on the hardware.